Hello everyone, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 5th edition edition. Last time we explored some more of the Grimforge, we took on some okra slimes, we got some rune powder, we were attacked by some mimics and then some traps that I didn't understand. And now I think it's time for us to make our move on the big central conflict here, which is these folks being... I don't know, just slavers against these dwarfs. We know Barkus Root, they are the one that we rescue from the windmill in Bogrot back up in the surface. So, the question is, how are we going to deal with this fight? I would love to see more of them all together. As ever... We always have the option of thunder-waving people into lava, given the opportunity to do so, like this. Screw it. Your actions have not gone unnoticed. If they persist, it seems they will not go unpunished. Dude, I just murdered two people whilst we're trying to save you. Ah, oh, it's you. The mascot of my ill fortunes. Much as I'd love to chat, I'm not allowed social breaks. You need rescuing again? These brutes are no mere goblins. I doubt you could take them on. Sounds like a challenge. I'll take care of the captives and get you out of here. You will? If you were successful, that would be most convenient. All right. Well, we took out two of them, and right. nobody else seems to care. So we've got one there, one there, one here, another there. There's a couple up high. Uh, there's this guy up here also question is how do we want to kick off proceedings because like if I could get those three in a fireball that would be really good probably destroy a lot of crates and stuff along the way but certainly wouldn't hurt we could always perhaps Need to find a way forward. simply shove someone into lava as well if they were where I wanted them to be however Gale. Oh, I have the magic touch. Three is not bad, right? Let's do these three, shall we? Go on then. All right, that is a lot more of initiative than I expected. I just said I would save you. Why are you threatening to attack us? Um, Hellish Rebuke? No. Counterspell Ensnaring Strike? No. Uh, who is this? Shadowheart? What happened to Shadowheart? Why is she in lava? Uh, Brackus, you've really, really got the wrong idea here, don't you? Right. I'm going to get these three in Arms of Hadar. Hunger of Hadar. Leave that over there for a hot minute. They have enlarged themselves. The gnomes are doing terrible things. Gale. I think we're just gonna fireball two. Yeah, that got that got some kills. That's good. Let's go. 
I don't really want to go into that space that I've created. But also, I don't want to attack the gnomes that are now not wanting to be rescued. I can't get into lava to rescue Shadowheart. Um, is... Um, is Healing Word on the Paladin's spell list? I know Cure Wounds is. Looks like we don't even have a scroll of Healing Word here, do we? But that's not going to help. Like, could we cast Shatter if we wanted to? We could. This can't, class can't learn spells. The other option is if we attempt to throw a potion of healing at Shadowheart. Probably better to throw a potion of greater healing. Just to try and get her up long enough to get herself out of this situation. But even if that's possible, I have no idea. Oh god, get in line of sight, please. Right, do I just throw it as close to her as I can possibly imagine? That is her corpse. Okay. She is up. She's not in the initiative. Takes 10d6 fire damage per turn whilst on the lava. But I don't have a way to get her out of there. So that's going to be its own problem. But now, I can't even just give her shield of faith to increase her AC. I'm going to move away from this ledge just so that I don't end up in the lava as well by mistake. And let's give a shield of faith to Will. All right. These guys are suicidal. Hunter's Mark. Fine. Nice of them to come down towards us. Apparently, the Scrying Eye is now an initiative, which is odd. Stuff is happening. Shadowheart is downed. I think what I need to do is heal her right now whilst we're on the same initiative as Will. And then jump out of the lava. We have two regular healing potions. Will is not exactly well equipped. So, where is Shadowheart's exact body? There. So Shadowheart's up, we're on shared initiative. She does not get an action. But she's now out of the lava. Which is like such a big improvement. The blade will not bend. We are currently concentrating on this spell. So we can't concentrate on Hex at the same time. We have a bonus action, but not for anything terribly useful. Shadowheart does not have a bonus action. We jumped with it. Can't do anything else. We have no movement left. That guy has three health. Thank you for missing me twice. These little guys are not really what I wanted to be occurring. Give me a second level magic missile. That is five darts. One kills you. 
Where is the one that climbed down the ladder? That would be you, wouldn't it? Yeah, you're concentrating on Hunter's Mark, so... Get rid of that spell, which is good. Leo. I would like you to... Jump past Shadowheart to get over to here. To attack Dra. Let's give a little smite. Good, okay. That is us done. More people coming in from the fringes. Someone attacked Will with a fire ammo for 30 damage. Did he get pushed in by an arrow of roaring thunder? Where is Will right now? God damn. All right, Hellish Rebuke for a start. He's still up, but I'm going to guess he's going to get killed at the start of his turn. Yes, okay. At least we have Shadowheart. Healing word on Will. Then Will has a bonus action. Jump out of the lava. Okay. Back to Shadowheart. Bonus action, we cast a spell. So, main action, we can cast a cantrip, but nothing greater. Or, we could use a scroll. If we had a good one. Sort by type. Sort by type. Scroll of Guiding Bolt doesn't help me. Bolster your life with a necromantic facsimile for 7 HP. I can throw a potion of greater healing on the ground next to me, but that doesn't seem quite like it should be how things go. I could throw a bomb, but... That seems also slightly excessive. Did I not throw that open? Throw. Apparently it will not throw that egg sack, which is upsetting. Fine, give me resistance so that I have a chance to defend against being shoved into lava if I need it. Um, I don't really want to move past a bunch of people that are going to try and attack me with 6 HP either. Oh, this all sucks. Right, we have no actions. They crit Gale. Gale is up. This guy needs to be dealt with. Make the save on Greece, which is annoying. Gale's HP warrants a healing potion. Leo is doing okay. I'm not worried about these guys attacking me. So instead, we are going to lay on hands. 
for Shadow Heart. Where's Lay on Hands? There. Uh, 20 healing. And bonus action. We're still focusing on Shield of Faith. Divine Sense. Tap into your spiritual awareness to gain advantage on attack rolls against Celestials, Fiends, and Undead. That's not going to help me. Bonus action. I don't need healing. Um, you know what? Give me a potion of speed. So we now have double movement speed and an extra action. So with that, I don't want to cross the grease myself. Get rid of that thing. 75 XP for destroying that. Seems like a lot. And then... Oh god, ranged attack, difficult terrain. Enlarged... Obscured target. Why are they obscured? Why are they obscured? Don't understand. I'm going to put myself... Here. As the next thing that they will come across. Rill. Gale. You're not concentrating on anything. Don't have an action. Clearly, we've already done our bit of our turn. These guys are just being peculiar. Uh, concentration broken on our spell. Bell, Hellish Rebuke. Sure. We now have a Gaping Wound. That's lovely. They jump over the Grease. The bad time. Will. Please. Deal with this problem. Shadowheart, I think it's time. Not mirror image. That is not the spell I want. Cleric spells, level three. Spirit guardians. Do radiant damage. Sure. So, all the ones next to us take radiant damage. I will take a small healing potion for myself. And move just enough to get this guy in the spirits. God, Gale is becoming a pin cushion right now. How about... Oh, that's us. A little shatter here. Good. We don't need smite on that. Whose body was that? Some random, I think. Right. Shadow Hearts turn. A bunch of them take extra damage. You're hiding at the back there, way too far out of my range. Stay focused. Um. All right. That one's dead. Leo, jump over the grease. It's not exactly worked out for us. Don't react on the first one. Miss on the second one. Ensnaring strike. We are lethargic after our three turns of taking two actions. We've lost spirit guardians. 
Why is the target obscured here is what I really, really don't understand. They make the save. Who is this? Uh, someone else on patrol has joined. That's his own problem. We cannot reach fights over there. We'll dash away from the lava. Will is going to consume his last healing potion. Must give Will more healing potions later. Gale. Let's use your item magic missile. Nice and dead. No time to waste. Shadow Heart. Nope. Dana. Ow. Back to us again. Two can play at that game. Do we have the range for this? We do. Massive damage. Come back to us. Dashing is good. It means they're not taking a main action. Alright. That fight is over. Very awkward of the... Uh, the gnomes to just go actually you've just said you would rescue us you're killing our captors but we're going to fight you anyway uh gail would you please ignite that just so we don't have to deal with it after that stops being on fire i'll take a short rest immediately then there's like a sea of corpses here to pick through but Oh, plus one great club. Shiny. It's worth a pretty penny. Not that I know where around these parts I can sell anything for a decent amount. What's in here? Otherwise, I'm expecting to find a lot of fairly generic stuff on the corpses of these folks. We are encumbered, so we need to send something to somebody else. Um... Good. Gems, cash, halberds. Now, there is the matter of destroying the wall over there as well. Like, I could loot here for days, but ultimately I don't really need to. If we were going much further in the campaign, I'd take some time to pick through it. But we also have this. If we examine it, it's medium toughness. This material is unusually strong. Only a hit that deals at least 22 damage can damage it. So, hypothetically, we could... Oh, no, we couldn't uh, Eldritch Blast it to death because that's two separate beams. But you could wait until you crit. Oh, no, it's immune to fire damage. Okay. Um, shatter wouldn't do it unless you rolled really, really high. So, basically, what we need to do is get some level of explosive so we have three of these let's split that then take the one did we drop it we did put it there in fact if i can move it any closer i can't then stand back And then Gale. Quite ready for you. Well, that was nearly all of it. 36 force damage. Vulnerable to force damage. But unfortunately, we can't do that last eight unless we do more than the 22 damage so we're going to have to invest a second one of our ones of these split that yep we can take 
one of those, put it down there. Then stand back. Gale, you know your job here. Elminster's not around, so as well. And that is now released. Save the gnomes. Well, this gnome seems saved. We'll all be free yet. The iron hands always find a way. Okay, they're gone. Then we have Nier of the True Souls and Myrna at the back there. Let's make sure we are playing with Leo. So we want Nier's head. One day I'll catch a break. But if I... How strong are you? Strength. 17. Now you're pretty strong. Pretty strong. Um, should we converse? I mean, what's the harm, right? Finally, worthless slaves. <laughs> Competence has been my ruin. Is not. Is not. Uh. I would have counterspelled that. Say nothing. Ah, oh, they disapprove. I made them mad. What is happening here? Oof. What is this then? The absolute servants dead. Yet a true soul still lives. I am sure there's a sane explanation. Ooh. Um. I. Uh. The Myconoid Sovereign wants the rock cleansed, and you're last on the list. Traitor. You have breathed your last. Hope the initiative's good. Okay, it's four on one. They're up first. Uh, dissonant whispers on will. 3d6 psychic damage frightened. Uh, I don't want to head a tribute. Okay, I did want to do the other one, but apparently not. Gale. Um, if you just could stand, like, right there. And then pop a, pop a little thunder wave. You didn't go. Uh, alright, Shadow Heart. Let's go with the insurance of Spirit Guardians. Will uh, actually Leo could you shove him as your attack action that way no no you couldn't all right um I'll take an armor of Agathis. All right, well, the good news is now that we're level five, we get two attacks. So my bonus action shove, I qualify as one of my two attack actions that I get. So we can still take our second main hand attack with some smiting. Uh, I want the counter spell. Thank you. Shield of Screams. Armor class increased by three and attackers take 2d6 psychic damage when they hit near with a melee attack. Interesting. 
Alright, we're up as a team. Uh, I don't know that we're going to get him into the lava, so... We'll do what we can with whatever else we have. That is a great start. Gale. Last spell slot. Five of those. Not great rolls, but solid enough. We missed that. Two attacks left. He's down. The decaying corpse lies before you. It's decaying pretty fast. I'll take some guidance on that. Well, I don't have proficiency in decapitation. One head of Nia. The head breaks off cleanly from the drow's body. But what's on his corpse? Encumbered. A broken moon lantern. A sword of screams. A uh, rapier finesse. We'll send that to Will for sure. A plus one dagger. We'll send that to Shadowheart. Sure. Heaps of gold. Will, you can hold on to that. Disintegrating nightwalkers. Can't be in webbed, entangled, or ensnared, and can't slip on grease or ice. Misty Step, Conjuration, level 2 spell. Let's give that to Will as well. Ash, potion, ring. An object catches your eye. A lantern, it seems. Though no light flickers within. Broken. And there's dust inside it. Investigation or Arcana. Both are as bad as one another. Eight, seven, nine. Damn. To all appearances, the dust seems quite ordinary. And the lantern itself. Good. You see no burner or wick. It was not fuel that lit this lamp, but magic. Gale. I can hardly wrap my head around what we've just heard. Let's list up the facts, shall we? There are other people here with tadpoles in their heads. These people don't realize they have tadpoles in their heads. They can hear the tadpoles speak to them and they think it's a new god. I don't know about you, but to me, none of this makes any logical sense. Yes. It's not very straightforward, is it? And yet, I suspect something intelligent behind it all. Some carefully nurtured scheme. But let's not lose sight of what we've learned here. What joins us and what separates us from these true souls. They hear a voice we do not hear. A voice that binds them in servitude. As long as we're possessed of our own free will, I venture to say there's hope for us yet. Right, Will. Defender of the people. Do you please equip the Sword of Screams? 1d8 plus 2 piercing plus 4, 1d4 psychic damage. Weeping. What does weeping mean? Inspect, examine. Weeping. Suffused with the cries of dead souls, deal an additional 1d4 psychic damage. Cool. Nice to have. Uh, there's dead people in the lava. I'm not that interested in them. Just a peek. There's one more slaver back here, or slave, rather than slaver. Shadowheart got caught in the poisonous fumes. We are over encumbered by holding on to Nier's head. So we need to be getting rid of that. Shadowheart, congratulations. But otherwise, we are alive. Which is always a great result coming through a big fight like this. Shame that these guys 
really decided that they wanted to just throw themselves at us until they were dead. But that's their prerogative, I suppose. I'm going to hope and pray that everyone else in Grimforge isn't after us the same now that that great big fight's happened. If we... Uh, if we... Ah, camera. If we walk down to here, I think this is where we started the episode. So why not finish it right here as well? For now, thank you ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.